Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, I'm back and I have completed the other page. Okay, so it looks like the one we did yesterday. So we have two of them. So we're going to continue on. Um, just so you can get a clue of what we're going for. Little reminder. This is what we're doing. Something that looks like this, but we're using different pieces, different collage bits, different collage focal points. But it'd be very similar to this with different focal points. Okay, so just so we have an idea of where we're going, a little reminder. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is, remember on the, you just saw this right here. This is this right here is a pocket, see? So you can put stuff in it, really cool. We're gonna do that same thing over here. And I found this again from Where Women Create, that magazine I showed you in the last video. And this is going to be attached here as a pocket. You guys, look how flipping cool this is. Isn't this awesome? Okay, I'm going to turn this around. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start turning my book around. I'm going to work back probably opposite, like if you're sitting across from me. But I'll always turn things around. Because YouTube, they have a thing where you can kind of do a little mini editing and you can turn everything around. But that's not working. It's working on and off. So... I think I'm going to stop depending on that. Plus, it takes more time to get my video out. So I'm just going to turn things around. And I'll even turn the book around when we're doing things. But when we're pasting things down, you don't need to see it the other way. You just need to basically see the final thing the right way. And different little pictures and stuff. So I'll keep turning them around, any of my focal points. Okay, so that's going to go here. But what we need is we need um, some hinges. All right, so let me put, take this book away for a second. Let me bring in my scoreboard. Okay, and a piece of brown cardstock. Doesn't matter what color. I like working with this color though, with what I'm doing. It's not gonna show anyway, so it's not gonna much matter. You guys, just one second. I have to um, turn on my hot glue gun because we will be needing that in a second. Oh, my book just fell down. All right, got my hot glue gun going. Um, all right, my book just fell down, but it's fine. You know, I want to show you guys something. I always try to show you different little things that I do that I think are ideas. Um, this right here I got from um, from Dollar Tree. Isn't this cool? It's just a little uh, glass, um, little glass privet, and um, I got it from Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it's great for your hot glue gun. Look. Isn't that awesome? And then when the when the hot glue comes on here, when it drips on here, you can easily just move, take, uh, clean it, clean it up. Also, it's great great for uh, like a little paint tray because you can scrape the paint off. So anyway, I just want to show you guys that. Um, okay, you know what I can't find? I just had is my mirror, which I have to have that so I can make sure I'm always in frame. Oh, here it is. That's why you guys will see this mirror, because I use it to keep in frame. I don't have to keep getting up out of my seat all the time, because that's a pain in the You know what? Okay, let me bring this back so you guys can see the top of this. Okay, so what this is is a scoreboard, and we're going to, um, it's a Martha Stewart scoreboard. This is a great thing. Um, I know I've talked about this before, but this is, there's some tools that I would definitely invest in. This is probably around 20, 25, use a coupon, go to Tuesday morning, so you'll spend about, I don't know, 12 bucks with a coupon. Go to Tuesday morning, wait till it goes on sale. Tuesday morning's had them under, under $10 before I've seen them there. So anyway, it's a great investment. Okay, it's a really, I think, necessary investment. Okay, so I, what, you need to, what we need to make is we need to make hinges. We're gonna put hinges here on the side, here and here. And what the hinges do, it'll be here, here and here. And what the hinges do, it makes it so that your pocket, um, is flexible and can come up and you can stuff a lot of good stuff in there okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna score it at the one score at two three at every inch four five six seven and eight and I've already done that in advance all right scoreboard done and believe me you guys you can do a million things with that scoreboard and I have so it's a very good investment okay um so 
what you need to do is every two lines you need to cut it out. Just go right along the line. And you're going to need um, three of these. Oh, my nose is itching. I just cut it right on that line. I kind of went off the line a little bit, but who cares? Okay, and here's some more for next time. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to just go like this, right on that score line. Just go ahead and fold it right on the score line. All right, be good if I did what I said. Okay, there we go. There's a score line, fold it on the score line. And there we go. I learned how to make these, um, these hinges a long time ago from Kathy Orta. She does like mini books. And ever since I learned that, I was like, this is awesome. It can be used for so many things. Okay, and you guys will see me using these hinges for a lot of different things when I'm doing these books. Anyway, so what we want to do is we want to, this is going to be our opening for our pocket right here, right? So we need to put a hinge on this side right here. So, and we're going to put this hinge on here with some hot glue. Hopefully my hot glue gun is hot. Okay, it's hot. So quickly, let's just get the hot glue on here. I mean, we barely just got this thing hot, but it's good enough. Okay. And hurry up because you don't have very much time with hot glue. I just feel like, you know, I could use, you could use double stick tape, but I just feel with this kind of stuff because you're, I, I just feel with how thick everything is and just for the sturdiness in this book to use hot glue for this. Okay, and then you have a little bit of excess, cut that off. Okay. Okay, so then we also need to put the hinges here also. Okay, let me just make sure I'm in frame. Okay, and you want to make sure that you don't put the hinge right in the, the, like the, you know, the crease or your pocket won't shut. Okay, so we got that measured there. Let's go ahead and cut that off. And since we got the measurement, we'll cut our second one because we're going to have to do it to the top too, right? So let's just go ahead and cut this one off here so we have both these done. Okay, so we're going to glue that one in, all right, and the crease part always goes on the outside, so if you get confused. Okay. See the crease right here where you folded it at always goes on the on the edge. Okay, then let's turn it to the top again and let's put the other one on here. What's that? Okay, this is the one right here. All right, so here we go. Let's do it again. You have to work a little fast because, you know, you're working with hot glue. You don't want it to dry before you get things where you want. You got a little bit of time. All right. I want to show you guys something else, too, before we do this. Okay, this is the edge. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so this is... Oh, let me cut this off. Okay. This is the edge where you'll be slipping things in, right? In the book. You can slip stuff into the pocket, right? Ooh, that'll make a great tag. I might make that into a tag. Anyway, right? To keep this like more sturdy, you can also put, you can take another hinge, and I haven't shown you guys this before. Okay, you 
take another hinge, crease that down, fold it on the crease. Now, take the hinge and close it. Because it's not going to be a hinge. It's going to be on a reinforcer. So that you have something to reinforce that edge. So when you're taking stuff in and out of the pocket, so this one is just going to be put on here as a reinforcer on the edge. And it makes things look cleaner too. Okay, and then um, we got to measure this out a little bit. So trim that up. Make sure everything can fold down. Yeah. Okay, so let's, fold, let's go ahead and put some glue on this. I've shown you guys this before, but I've never showed you that reinforcer. So, and it gives the edge a cleaner look too. Love that. Okay. Let me just trim up this edge right here. Okay. And I keep these little pieces because you might need little hinges sometime for something. So, okay. So, um, this is going to go in like this, right? But we need to have it folded like this and like this so it can be glued into the book, right? Okay. So, we'll put some glue here and here and right there and right there okay so this can be folded up okay it's seeping out a little bit and that's fine as long as it doesn't seep over the edges okay and then you want to do the same thing here seepage I just went ahead and got rid of the seepage okay so this is what this looks like now on the other side okay so when you put this down they'll be like I said with these hinges creating it like this uh, you'll be able to stuff more things in the pocket okay it's easy simple 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 and you can take this to junk journals to mini books to uh, your planner when you need to make a little pocket you can also Okay, let me show you something. Let me grab my book again. Um, just a second. Okay. Let me get myself settled again here with my book. My book is getting very full. Okay, I'm almost done with this book, kind of. Anyway, let's get make sure we're in frame, especially this side of the book. Okay, also, if you're gonna make a pocket, this isn't, doesn't fit because it's too big, but you could, if you're gonna do a pocket this way, you do the same thing. If you're gonna do a pocket at the, at the bottom of your book, so you would slip things in like this. You do it the same way. Cool, huh? Well, we're gonna make this a side pocket. Okay, so we need to put hot glue here, here, and here, quickly. Okay, here we go. Do I have enough glue? Yeah. I was looking to make sure I have enough glue in my hot glue gun. Okay, let's get a move on here and get this pasted glue down. There we go. You can use your bone folder. At least I remember what the heck this was. I remember one time I just could not think what the heck this is. It's called a bone folder. They usually come with your scoreboard. But you can buy these bone folders separate also. Okay, and we'll let that settle in there. And now we have a pocket. So like this see you can slip stuff in there and look how much room it has some room in there has some give 
he can really stuff that up nice. Okay, plus, look at this. Is this picture so cool, you guys? I love it. It's like I said, it's from the, um, where women create. It was, um, it's a picture of some old rusted shed with uh, cool guitars on it. I thought it was look so rustic and cool to go with my book. So I love it. It's in here now. Okay, so there's that. Oh, shoot. You know what I was going to do? I forgot, but it's okay. I need a decoupage on some napkins, but I can still do the napkins here, even though I put this on first. Okay, so let's decoupage on some napkins. Um, I almost forgot. <laughs> so much to do, so little time. Okay, I want to do, okay, let's put this to the side. See this clock right here, this, this half a clock? I want to use that half a clock that doesn't even sound right but whatever okay so again let's do my trick with wetting the paintbrush with just water come to the outside of this so we can take that out perfectly oops a little more water there we go perfect okay we want to take that out and we I want to put that up here. This is a little decor. Okay? And we're going to take go ahead and paste that on with some decoupage. Okay? Right on top. And when you're doing a napkin as most people know, you can just you, you don't have to put the um, your glue or your decoupage Underneath, you only have to do it on top. That's why I love uh, decoupaging with napkins or collaging with napkins. I'm about to do a whole page with just napkins, and I'll show you guys that before we go. I'm a, everything's going to be basically decorated with um, collage bits and napkins. Okay, um, I want to put um, a butterfly right here, I think. It's gonna fit. If it's gonna, f I'll, you know, I'll put some small ones. So let's put some small ones. If I wouldn't have put on my pocket first, I could have put a little bit bigger butterflies. But it's okay, no major. There's a lot going on. Can't remember everything. Okay. So we're going to put this butterfly here, and then let's get another one on this napkin. This is a napkin, like I said yes, uh, my last video, that I actually got this napkin from Dollar Tree, you guys. You know what I'll do? I'm gonna I gotta try to remember to do this. I'm gonna go through my napkins because I told you I guess I've bought so much napkins. Um, I'm gonna go through and see which ones I have a whole lot of, which there's a lot that I do, and um, do like a little napkin giveaway. And I'll try to have that on my next um, mixed media little video. Give away some napkins. and give them away in something like this. I've done these um, these uh, folders out of, out of these uh, pocket folders I make out of um, manila folders and I could shove a bunch of um, napkins in one of these and give it as a giveaway. So, a mixed media giveaway, that would be fun. So I'll try to, um, I'll get that together on the next video. I think that's fun to, to get napkins from somebody else to put in your collection. And I'll try to do two or three of each napkin that I that I choose. Because nothing's worse, in my opinion, nothing's worse than, than just to get one napkin. Because then you don't feel like you can use the napkins. You're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to use it. You know what I've done when I've only gotten one napkin of something and I really like it? I make a copy. And then that way I can always have it. That's what I do. Even if I get two or three of them, I still make a copy because I'm going to use them all up. <laughs> and then I'll have it forever.
Okay, so we're just going on top of the napkin. And am I worried about uh, wrinkles? No. Any wrinkles in this type of work just adds cool texture. So don't even worry about wrinkles. Who cares? It just adds texture. That's my opinion on the whole matter. I mean, look, I put drips all over my work, so a few wrinkles in my napkins. <laughs> it's just <laughs> even more awesomeness. Oh, something else I wanna show you guys that I did. I took um, this hot cocoa ink color that I used as the base here and watered it down. And I took a, um, this is a, a paper towel roll and I dipped it in the, in the ink like that. And then I just went like this to make little coffee, like little coffee cup stains. I did it off air, off, off air off of off video you can also do it with a toilet paper roll but what i like about this one right here it's from the paper towel roll it's smaller so it's cool both of them would be cool to use so i did that in here also okay um all right you guys will see that butterfly better as it dries it'll be dry here shortly okay on the other side i want to use um some napkin some some flowers and some butterflies like, I like this whole thing right here. Okay, see this whole thing? I want to put that whole thing on. You know another place I found some beautiful napkins at? Uh, City. They had some ones with uh, the Eiffel Tower, which were absolutely gorgeous. So I got some pretty ones there one time, and they're only like $1.99. Let's just always be looking for napkins when you can get them at a good price. I wouldn't spend like 5 or $6 or anything, but when you can get them for a dollar or two, even like if they're really, really, really cool, three bucks. I think the most I've paid is like 4 or 5 but that's really, really rare. That'd be pretty darn cool. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. You guys, you know what? I hear somebody at my door, so I'm going to leave you guys for a minute. If I could, I'd stop my video, but I can't the way, I, the way I'm recording, so I'll explain how I'm recording in a minute where I can't really stop my video. So I'll be gone for just a minute. Um, so if you uh, don't wanna wait for a minute, just of course, just fast forward, okay? So sorry about that. Just wanna get this on here. I can still hear them knocking. I don't know who would be knocking for that long, but obviously it's something important. Okay, you guys, I'll be back in just a second. Um, talk some among yourself, fast forward the video, and I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My neighbor had a little emergency. Not major, but she just needed me for a second. Anyway, so sorry about that. Like I said, you could have fast forwarded. In a second, I'll explain why I can't pause my camera or my phone. But let me continue on before I start that explanation. Okay. What I want to do really quickly is look at my collage bits I'm going to put on over here, which are right here, to see what's going to be seen. I want to put this at the top, right? Okay, that's going to go at the top. Then these three pieces are going to go right here. Got to put these on lightly because everything's wet still. And I'm going to put that on like that. Okay, perfect. All right. So, do I want to dry this a little bit? Yeah, you know what? Let me dry this for a second, you guys. Um, see how this is already dried? Look how cool those butterflies look. All three of them in a row right there. And that's napkin. Napkins are the bomb, you guys, as you guys, most of you guys already know. All right, so let me go ahead and dry some of this. So just a second. Again, if you don't want to watch me dry, fast forward. Gotta love the napkin art. I mean, that just dried so fast. Okay, so let's go ahead now and we want to put this on here. Okay, and I'm gonna attach this on. Let me make sure this is, yeah, this is dry. Um, I'm gonna attach this on with some, what is it? Eileen's Tacky. Okay. I like to use, as you, I've said a million times, I like to use magazines that I get for free. This is a Las Vegas magazine that comes out. It's always at the grocery stores. And I always pick those up when I'm at the grocery store. Also, I save magazines that you get for free in uh, the mail. And I like to use them as my, my little collage spaces to uh, collage on and get all gooey. And then I just turn the page and then I have another clean surface to work on. Love it. Sometimes I feel like Eileen's Tacky is just going to do the better job for my collage bits that um, are like magazines and they're really thick, like this one's really pretty thick. And they usually tend to be thicker when they come out of quality magazines, they're not the real thin ones. So I think it comes up, goes on better with Eileen's Tacky. So that's why I did that. Let's use a credit card. If you have some glue seepage, you can kind of wipe with the baby wipe, wipe your card. There we go. And then I like to use my hand too, because there's a lot of, there's quite a bit of texture. So this is with your hand, it really helps make sure that everything's attached really well and that you go over the texture. Okay, there we go, that looks good. And then that page we have like this, just flip it 
Or you can use another section of it, but just flip it and now you have enough clean place to do your, your gluing. Okay, so next. Okay, next we have our collage. So this is what we have. This is our collage focal points. Look how cool that is. Uh, love that. These are Prima hearts. And um, I don't know the lady's name, but Prima makes these hearts. They make the ba they make the the base, and then she decorates them like this. Isn't it fabulous? I've done some of this kind of stuff before. I actually make my own pieces, and then um, I've de I've done the um, I've been inspired and done decorating on the pieces like this. I'm just gonna show you guys. I actually have poured my own pieces like this. See? This was a belt piece. So I made the mold and then I uh, took um, plaster of Paris with a little bit of glue and made my own. And then I've been inspired to decorate my pieces like how she does hers. Just showing you that. I'll probably do that again. I've done some of that. So I have some videos on that. So this is the other um, focal point and then look at this one. I want this um, mold. Or if I can't, I don't have the mold. She sells the piece like this. Hopefully they still have them because then I want to mold it. So I have it forever and I can make my own. Fabulous. Okay. And those are by Prima. So we need to glue these in. We're going to go like about like this. This is a, a like a high heel shoe. Isn't that cool? It's poured out of that, that plaster of Paris stuff. That's cool. I don't know if she sells that. I think that's just... For effect. I don't think she sells that. Okay, that's what we want to do right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our glue out. I usually try to store this on its side or upside down so it's ready to go. Let's put it over here so I can use more more of this space. I don't have to turn the page right away. So I can use the same page for the next one too. All right. Okay. Let's move this for now. Have my baby wipe ready to unstick my fingers. Let's put this about right here. Okay. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, are these like all these pictures, you, are, are these pictures that you really love that you're using? And yes, they are. I love to go through a magazine in the evening time when I'm with my husband watching a movie and just rip the hell out of a magazine. <laughs> just start ripping pages and then sit there and cut things out and have a big pile of focal points and sometimes I like you know the collage bits that are color um, I like to, I'll, I'll if I see some cool colors I want to use in my um, background like the colored pieces I'll just rip those in pieces so they're ready to go that's something I like to do <laughs> when I'm sitting there in front of the TV if I'm not knitting I'm probably ripping paper ripping out uh, focal points and things like that okay that goes there and this goes Wait, how did I do this? I think I went like that. What did I go like this? Just a second. Let me play for a second, you guys, so I can figure out what the heck I did. I think I did it like that. Okay. Again, bring my magazine back. We'll go up here. Well, I don't have any. I have room. I didn't turn the page because I still have enough room on here to use this page still. So to do my gluing I'll move it up a little bit okay excuse my nose you guys all of a sudden my nose started running a little bit okay Let me move this out of the way go glue 
move this right down here. And use my baby wipe, wipe off my hands. And and then use my hands to really mesh that down. And all these cards are, this is like my Joanne's card or an old credit card or um, whatever. Whatever old card you have, you can use. Okay. Then this beautiful piece here will go right here. Okay. Let's bring back our magazine. I still have a clear space on this same page. So... And if you're wondering where to get magazines, you can get magazines lots of places. You can get them when you're out garage sale shopping. You can get them at thrift stores. Um, oh, and thrift stores. If, one time I caught a sale at a thrift store, and they're selling all their magazines for 50 cents. It was awesome. One time I went to this um, garage sale, and this I was buying some clothes. I was buying clothes from her for a really good price um, because I have an eBay store, and I buy and resell uh, clothing plus other things too. And anyway... In the corner was a bunch of magazines. And I was like, oh, how much are those? She goes, you can have those for free. I got 20 magazines for free. I was like more happy about those magazines than I was about buying those dresses from her. <laughs> from my eBay business. <laughs> I was like, uh, thank you. So just always be paying attention. I've, seen, I've gotten a bunch of old books on the street before. This person just put out a boxes and boxes of old books. You know, I went over there and got those books. Because the pages were like all yellowed. And I'm like, oh, these are beautiful. Nothing better than some yellowed old pages to, to use in your artwork. So. Look how fabulous that looks. I love it. Let me turn my book around so you can kind of see how this is looking. Before we do our last bit of stuff on here. There we go. Look how cool that looks. Okay, I'm going to do close-ups here in just a second, you guys. Okay, let me turn the book back around. <clears throat> let me make sure I'm in frame. And I am working in my really big book, not working in my small one. I'm loving this big one because you can do so much, has much, so much more real estate space. That's probably why I like it. Okay, I like the small one, too. But I love working really big. Hopefully that didn't just mess up my camera. Okay. So this is what I call Stabilo time, or what Lori Marie called Stabilo time. I have a Stabilo. It's going around and and um, putting a little shadowing of black around everything. Your edges, just around everything. It just pops everything and brings everything alive. I do that with, you can use a Stabilo, but I don't have a Stabilo. Um, I use it with my Fabric Castell, or you can do it with a gelato black, a black watercolor pencil, and or you can use some people have where is mine a black oil pastel. Okay, I really love using the black Cabris, uh Fabric Castell here. Loving this. Okay, that and a baby wipe works works like a miracle. I use a baby wipe, and sometimes I use some spit. <laughs> I got that from Lauren Marie. She uses spit. <laughs> People get all upset. That's just nasty. She's like, oh, well. <laughs> all right. Let me stop tripping on that. Okay. So let's go around this piece right here. With a little bit of this black. Fabric Castell. That or gelato, the same thing. Okay. And just a little bit. So then I like to take a baby wipe. And just smear it all the way across. There we go. And this adds a little bit of shadow. And really pops everything. We do the same thing right here. Okay. Now I'm not going to um, do this around the... I'm not going to do this around the whole, I'm not going to do the whole 
this whole book, but I'm just showing you example, and then I'll do the rest of this off camera of putting this shadow in, this shading. Because it takes a little bit of time, so I don't want to like, you know, make you guys watch me put shadows around everything. Okay. Sometimes it's wet. It's sometimes you don't you don't even need any water. You can just use your finger and just use your finger to go around. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay. Look, I didn't even use this time. I didn't even use my. I'm going to wet it just a little bit because I want it to blend out and smoke out a little bit more. There we go. So I just wet my finger a little bit on that one. Okay, so you can go around everything, okay, and do that. Also go around your edges. So like right here on my edge. So smoke out my edge. Go like this. And go to the top here. Which may not be the best right now because this is still wet, but we'll see how that works. Let's just try to do it. Yeah, perfect. That worked out nice. I didn't know how well that was going to work out because <clears throat> I just like, glued that down and it's kind of um, wet. And right now I'm just touching my finger on this baby wipe. And that's working out better right now than using the baby wipe on the whole thing. I'm liking it better. You know, it depends on the surface. And every surface is different because we have so much um, layers on everything. So, you always have to play around and see what's going to work best for you. Yeah, loving this whole thing. This just looks awesome. So, I basically already outlined this whole page. This one, I just used my spit right there. <laughs> I don't know where these allergies have come up from all of a sudden. I'm just defining this a little bit more. That looks really good. Let me define this a little bit more here. Smoke that out a little more there. Love it. Okay, so I would do the same thing on this other page over here, okay? Same exact thing. I'm just not going to do it on camera. So let me turn this around and show you guys how this turned out. I love it. Hope you guys like it. I'm going to do some close-ups here. But let me show you just how it looks. So you guys can see how it turned out. Okay. And then I'm going to get up and come in closer so you guys can get some close-ups. Okay. Just a second. Okay, I'll move my book around. Look how cool that looks, you guys. Oh, wait, let me turn the book. Oh, wait, did I turn the book around? Yeah, I turned it around already. Okay, just making sure I turn around for you guys to be able to see it. Awesome. Loving. Let me bring this back a little bit so you can see more of it this way. Okay. I'm going to go to the other side. Oh, it's not easy to work this big book. Okay, there we go. There's that part. And then I'm going to bring this down so you can see that part. I just think this turned out really, really cool. So go through a magazine. I'm sure, you know, most of us do this type, a lot of this type of work. I'm sure you have a million magazines that magazine collage bits that you've already cut out just a second you guys there we go i'm sure you guys all have a bunch of collage stuff or pictures you cut out of magazines that you just love and that's basically all this is is do a cool background and then collage together some cool stuff that you like in the middle at the top or however you want to do your arrangement you don't have to do your arrangement like this 
um, maybe, you know, find a piece that's big enough that you can make into a pocket. And the pocket can either go on vertically like this, okay, put stuff in it. Or you can take the pocket, do that same idea, and put the pocket, like this is probably going to end up being a pocket, like down here in another page. You can do a pocket this way. Isn't that, isn't that cool? That's from that same magazine, Where Women Create. Love it. And you can put that pocket down there, and then look. See, wouldn't that make a great pocket? That's why I cut that piece out. So I'm like, oh, that looks cool for my next one. Oh, and let me show you one more thing before we go. I drew... This was Jane Davenport inspired. I love her girls with the long necks. So I drew a couple girls and um, I was inspired by her. And I'm going to uh, color these girls up and then they're gonna be in one of my upcoming pages in, in this book. But look at this girl. So I wanted to share this with you so you guys kind of know what we're gonna be going for here pretty soon. That's her right there which I think turned out really pretty cool. Let me just bring it up a little bit. So, that was this, I drew her and then I drew her again, but changed her up a little bit. So I'll be, I'll be coloring in both of these. Isn't she pretty? So, and I'll take her and then cut her out of course and put her in one of these, you know, collage backgrounds and That'll be fun. So that'll be in an upcoming, upcoming soon. Okay, you guys, so that is it. I hope you guys like this page. I'm really loving how it turned out. I think that looks really cool. So, like I said, get yourself, get your collage bits out, get your um, focal points out, and do a background and paste on your favorite stuff and kind of collage it together cool and put a pocket in. And That's it, you guys. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me at my face. Uh, come visit me on my Facebook and my Instagram. And I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys next video.